How you going, you big bloody beautiful wankers? Here's me face. So today I am at one of Australia's most elite sporting events, known as the Dinghy Derby. It's bright and early, and uh, some of the blokes are starting to rock up with their dinghies behind me. It's a long race around the Murray River, super fast, super speedy, adrenaline fueled. Uh, let's go see what's happening, shall we? Let's go. How long have you been dinghying? In? Uh, like uh, racing myself, maybe four years, but I used to race with my brother for probably five before that. So. Ah, all right, nice. Yeah. Have you won the dinghy derby before? Yeah, I won it once, so. Oh, okay, nice. What year did you win? Uh, 15. Yeah, 15. Yeah, 2015? Yeah, that was the year, man. What have you got going on in here? Everything. Everything? Yeah, they start standard, yet pretty much there's not a standard thing left in them. Um, just Everything's lightened, everything's strengthened, everything's made to go fast and... How many horses? How many horses you got in there? I fit about 60 horses in you there. You got 60 horses in there? Yeah. No airbag? No, mate. No. Nah. <laughs> airbags are for wankers. <laughs> hey, your airbags are right there. Team Queensland is here, look at that. Team Queensland! Yeah, man. Go the Queenslanders! Go the Queenslanders! Yeah, mate. Yeah. How many horses are in your engine? Just the standards, mate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah shifty. <laughs> Shifty answer, just the standard Damn. 20 to 30. You are a fucking legend. Oh, you're man. a legend. Nah, you're a legend. How Thanks, you going? Mate. Yeah, good, man. Good, good, yeah? good. Are you racing today? Yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah. I'm a WA boy, mate. I'm oh, yeah. That's right, yeah. Represent. So, yeah, yeah. You're I mean, a WA w boy, aren't you? Yeah, Perth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, sick as, mate. Sick as. How many horses have you got in your motor? 25. That's what everyone says. 25 ponies. Yeah? You're all like, oh, yeah, 20 to 30. <laughs> what, 50 to 60. I'm learning you have to double it. <laughs> Whatever someone says. Okay. Do you have to bulk up or anything throughout the year? Or? I haven't. You haven't? I haven't. Nah, nah, bugger that. Yeah. You gotta stay nice and light, hey? Yeah. Like a jockey. Yep, exactly. Yeah, right. What is the diet of a dinghy derby oh, athlete? Mate, I, <laughs> I eat fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't diet, eh? <laughs> <laughs> nah, don't Bloody chicken that. palmy for brekkie. I had palmy last night. Chicken yeah. palmy for Shaved lunch. Chicken for breakfast. Nice, yeah. nice. Yeah. You don't need like an elite athlete. Diet. Oh, don't get me wrong, you could. I struggle to hang on to it, but. Yeah. I thought it was an airbag at first. It's not an airbag? No, no it won't the boil. No. <laughs> Airbags are for wankers anyway. <laughs> After chatting to the athletes, I thought I'd see what the spectators were up to. So I jumped in a dinghy and headed towards Carnage Corner. How early do you have to get here to get a good spot now? Well, we were up we at 5.30. We were up at 5.30. We fucked wait, like that. Wait for these blokes <laughs> to get here and then we come later. All <laughs> oh, right. Have any of you guys raced before? Or? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, jo uh, yeah. Jolly, Ed. Three minutes, that was my claim to fame. <laughs> Three minutes? Three minutes. Left well, the start line, hit this great big fucking tree, <laughs> rode it back to the bar, and that was the end of it. Let me recap that for you. This bloke tried to race once, hit a big fucking tree within three minutes, pulled his boat out of the water, and went to the pub. This is the bloody greatest story I've heard in a long time. Anyway, the crowd was reaching capacity down here, and the main races were about to kick off. Oh, here they come, now it started! Over 100 people racing their dinghies across a bunch of different speed classes throughout the day. I'd say about half a dozen dinghy athletes ended up in Destination Fucked. Yep, here's some first hand footage of old mate Kyle rolling his boat. This was pretty sad to hear about. I had a hundred bucks on Kyle to win, hey. Yeah, no, no, in all seriousness, this is definitely not an easy motorsport. There's a lot of fun that goes on, a lot of monkeying about, but there's also tons of hard work and practice behind the scenes. Overall, Adam and Trev won the 2018 Red Bull Dinghy Derby with a record time of 1 hour 12 minutes, 
50.1 seconds. They've been racing for over 8 years, so everyone was super proud of them. Yeah, nah, bloody smashed it. It's fair to say I enjoyed me first dinghy derby experience. There was just one more thing I wanted to do. So I want you to come up the front here. Yep. And you hop in and sit in the middle. Seeing as it's a very small boat, it, um, it's very easy to rock around. Is this gonna... Oh yeah! That fits over my fucking buff head. Uh, how should I sit? Just like how you are. Look at these dickheads over here. How you going? You alright? You having a leisurely cruise? Oh, my ankles. Oh, we're racing! We are up and racing! Oh yeah, come on, come on! Waiting for them. Pretty easy win. Oh, we're catching them. If I had a bloody green turtle shell, I could fire it and hit them. But if they had a banana peel, they could throw it over and we bloody spin out. Thankfully, Dinky Derby is not like Mario Kart. bum crack. Yep, this man has seen a lot of bum cracks. Oh, I'm rope guy, I gotta remember to do my jobs. Hold on, put some weight on the front and then tie up the boat. Those are my big jobs. Bloody romantic. Maybe maybe you can take me out for a palmy date later. <laughs> yeah, we can go. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take you out for a date later. Yeah. Maybe we'll branch out, have something other than the palmy. We don't have to. Well, the thing is though, sometimes when you do that, you think you'd be adventurous. And then you get a meal and shit, and you're like, I should have just gone what I knew. Yeah, you end up regretting it. Yeah. 